Seabed life doubles in ocean warming research. A team of British and American scientists investigating the impact of ocean warming on marine life did just that, warmed up the ocean. Scientists placed heated panels on the seabed near the UK's Rothera Research Station on the Antarctic Peninsula. The panels heated the water a few millimeters above them for a year, with researchers checking in and photographing the area periodically. Researchers found the amount of sea life there had doubled after a rise of one degree Celsius. But after an increase of two degrees Celsius, only certain species continued to grow. The encrusting bryozoan grew almost twice as fast under the experimental warmer conditions. The scientists say the results provide insight into what species of seabed life will survive as the oceans continue warming over the coming century. Chill out with more stories on the science of Antarctica. British research station in Antarctica skis its way to safety. The British Antarctic Survey has completed the relocation of its Holly research station in Antarctica, some 14 miles inland. The Holly 6 research station was moved after one of the two chasms in the area became active in 2013, and a new crack was discovered on the Brunt Ice Shelf in October last year. The research station had to be moved 14 miles to a new site for safety. The hydraulic legs allow the station to be raised and lowered, while the skis on the bottom of the legs allow the station to be transported easily. The modules were hauled individually to the new site where they were reassembled. The research center will be closed due to safety considerations, and all staff at the station are currently being evacuated in stages. The station will be reopened in November 2017. Antarctica's Blood Falls Mystery Solved A group of U.S. scientists have unraveled the mystery of why blood falls in Antarctica gets its red color. Blood falls pours from the Taylor Glacier in Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys. Scientists discovered that the lake trapped under the glacier has an unusually high concentration of salt. Salt water has a lower freezing point than water and releases heat as it freezes. This causes glacier ice to melt and enables water to flow. Researchers also discovered iron-rich brine in the water, which oxidizes as soon as it makes contact with the oxygen in the air. This causes the waterfall to turn a red color. Blood Falls was first discovered by geoscientist Griffith Taylor in 1911. Scientists had previously theorized that the water's red color was caused by red algae. More worrying news from Antarctica. NASA reports that an iceberg about the size of Delaware split off from Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf between July 10th and July 12th. Scientists warned that the breakoff could trigger new ice cracks and cause even more icebergs to separate from the shelf. Ice shelves are the floating parts of glaciers that act as a support mechanism. In a stable glacier ice shelf system, the glacier's downhill movement is offset by the buoyant force of the water at the ice shelf front. The system is destabilized when warmer temperatures melt both the surface and underside of the ice shelves, and this eventually leads to calving. However, collapsed ice shelves do not directly contribute to sea level rise as they float. Once the ice shelves are calved, the buoyant force that previously offset glacier flow is gone, and the glacier can slide into the ocean to rapidly affect sea levels. Experts say the remaining 90% of the Larsen ice shelf is held in place by the Bodden ice rise to the north of the rift and Gipps ice rise to the south. Therefore, the ice shelf is unlikely to collapse in the near term. Will California soon be underwater? Researchers are warning that melting ice shelves in Antarctica could cause sea levels to rise higher than expected, with the changes being most apparent in California. Scientists theorize that due to the Earth's rotation and gravitational pull, melting ice in Antarctica, particularly in the western portion, is pulled toward the California coast. This makes rising sea levels more dramatic in the region. For every foot of global sea level rise caused by the melting West Antarctic, sea levels will rise approximately 1.25 feet on the California coast. In 2100, sea levels could rise as high as 6.9 feet in San Francisco and 7.1 feet in La Jolla. 
The California Ocean Protection Council plans to hold a series of workshops and propose measures to address this issue.